Hey, yep. Right, Trip Machine video again. As you might remember, a year or so ago, Trip Machine brought out their first motor boats or motorcycling boats, which I'm told have been very popular. And Sid at uh, Trip Machine listening to customer feedback has made some improvements. Not only that, they brought out a new model, the Mop Turbo. Now, I might have slipped up here a little bit because I spoke to Sid yesterday and apparently they've sold out. But he's hoping to have some back in stock ready for this video going up today. Fingers crossed. Either way, I will leave a link to Trip Machine's uh, website in the video description down below, along with my exclusive channel discount code, which allows 15% off any Trip Machine product, and that will also be in the video description down below. And I believe that that uh, discount code will be valid for seven days starting from today. Now, Mock boots are not usually my sort of thing. I usually consider that the sort of pleat that goes around the toe area is a bit too thick and chunky, um, which is a bit too much for me. So I've got to admit, when Sid sent me these through uh, for a potential review, I was a little bit lukewarm. In fact, I never even opened them when they arrived. In, in my defence, I was in the middle of a load of building work and they were just put to one side and then buried underneath tools and various other bits and pieces. Now, I was quite surprised because when I opened them, they're actually rather nice. The pleated bit which I've just described here is quite understated and low profile. And to me... They don't look bad at all. In fact, I have noticed actually Mokto boots are sort of back in style at the moment. I've noticed a, a lot of uh, the big companies are starting to reintroduce them. It's not unusual for me to be out of whack with the rest of the world. I should have learnt my lesson with uh, Trip Machine, really. There's a few products in the past that they've offered for review. I've not been too keen on them. and I've ended up really liking them and, you know, this is just another example. Now, for a start, these boots are made from a very specially selected abrasion-resistant buffalo hide, which does feel surprisingly soft and supple. Now, I found the last shape of the original boots a little bit narrow. I mean, the, the, once broken in, they were fine, but initially they were a little bit tight. It would appear that Trip Machine have now introduced a new last shape, which is a little bit wider at the toe joints, so I found these were a perfect fit right from the word go. In fact, I went for a two mile walk with the dog um, straight after filming, which you saw at the beginning there, something that I took on my phone, to see if these boots would provoke any sore spots or blisters, and they were absolutely fine. It was like walking in a pair of comfortable slippers. Now, that's not the only improvement that Trip Machine have made to their current generation of motor boots. They've beefed up the ankle protectors on the inside, and they've also added reinforcement to the heel area and to the toes. Now, they're not steel toe caps, it's some sort of um, industrial type plastic. And I'll play a video at the end of um, Sid sort of basically dismantling a pair of these boots to show you how they're all put together. It's quite entertaining. The boots are neoprene lined and as you can hopefully see from the picture you're looking at now, they're quite wide at the neck. Now it's all very well having a very narrow shapely neck on a pair of boots. It looks nice but for a motorcyclist it restricts ankle movement which can make gear changing and rear brake use a little bit problematic. These are specifically designed not to do that. You have standard what look like um, brass lace eyelets most of the way up with just two ski type eyelets at the top. And whereas most boot manufacturers at this price point would use some sort of nylon shank, these are all metal. So they help the boot to retain its shape while still remaining quite supple. I was, I was surprised actually just how supple these boots are. The neoprene lined for comfort and as is traditional with most motorcycle boots these days, they feature a commando type sole.
as you would expect with any trip machine leather products, uh, these are extremely well made boots with the usual trip machine build quality and attention to detail. Now, I believe these boots are oiled buffalo hide, uh, which will give them some degree of sort of water protection. The don't, as you see, have bellows tongues, so they will let water in through the tongue area. They should be regarded as a summer boot. Now, Sid told me that he designed these as daily wearers. You know, if you're working at the office or whatever, you don't need to take a spare pair of boots or shoes with you for use at work. These are designed to be used on the bike and then casually when you're off the bike. And they are very lightweight. I think we often mislead ourselves into thinking that a good motorcycle boot needs to be sort of stout and heavy. It doesn't need to be heavy as long as the necessary support and abrasion resistance is there. Which is exactly what these Mokto boots deliver. You know, from my point of view, often if I go away for a weekend or even longer on a motorcycle, I'll um, wear my boots to ride down there. But I'll always carry a pair of lighter weight boots in my luggage so that as soon as I get to my destination, I can swap into them. Because let's face it, heavy motorcycle boots can be damned uncomfortable to walk around in. These boots remove the need for you to do that. As I said, Sid told me that he specifically designed these boots so they could use them to ride to work and then, you know, they were comfortable and fit for use at the office when he got to work and around his workshop. Normally, motorcycle boots are just that, the motorcycle boots. You know, the manufacturer makes sure that they're up to specification for riding, but they often don't give a lot of thought to the fact that the rider has to walk around once he gets to his destination. Uh, I don't normally wear my jeans rolled up like this, I just did it so you could see the boot more clearly. Don't want you to get the wrong impression. Right, so that's the Trip Machine Mock to Motor Boots, and damn fine boots they are as well. As I said, I will leave a link in the video description down below, along with uh, the discount code, which will get you 15% off anything from Trip Machine's website. Right, once again, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you're riding this weekend in this glorious weather, please ride safely. I'm going to let the video play out now with uh, Trip Machine's sort of teardown of a pair of their Derry boots, featuring the King of Coal himself, Siddhartha Singh, showing you exactly what goes into making them. I'll see you next week. So today we're going to cut open this boot to figure what it takes to become a Trip Machine motor boot. <laughs> Now, of course, we could have always shown you how to make one, but we thought let's do some reverse engineering. Now, when you look at our boots, they look like regular boots, but it's actually been engineered for the slide. It's, of course, made from our abrasion resistant trip machine leather, and it's got protection at all the right areas. Now, enough of this, let's cut this bad boy open. Ah, oh, missed. <laughs> missed.
Okay, so now let's cut through the tongue. There's a metal shank in the center, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to penetrate through it. But if I'm not, I'll take a detour. Okay, I think I'll need some help. Mayank, can you bring over the company terminator? Sure. All right. Yeah! <laughs> okay, that didn't go as planned. But the metal shank is a bit more difficult to get. I'm not able to get it out. So what I did was get a spare one. This is what it basically is fits in here and is what gives the shoe its shape. It keeps, it ensures that the shoe remains in shape. So on the outside, we have our signature drip machine leather, which is abrasion resistant. It's made from buffalo leather. Now a lot of shoes or a regular shoe will be made out of goat, goat skin or lamb skin. But the abrasion in those is much, much lesser. This is what you should have if you're making a motorcycle boot. And on the inside, if you look at the protections that we have, is this on the ankle. This is what makes the toe and this is what makes the heel. The same material goes in the toe and the heel, right? It's about uh, 0.8 mm. A lot of people ask why this is not a steel toe. The motorcycle boot slides on the road and hence you need protection on the side. Imagine if the steel would actually crush and make your feet get stuck inside your boot. That's why you never ever make a boot or a motorcycle boot with a steel toe. Right? And on the inside we have this nice goat skin that keeps your feet feel nice and luxurious and they're coupled with this nice and smooth lighter. If you talk about the sole, the sole is basically a high grip sole. Uh, it's more like imagine, you know, a dirt bike tire, you know, that's full of grip. Uh, something that you obviously need if you're making a motorcycle boot. So that in all is what our boot is made up of. If you like this video, tell us what we should cut open next.